Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Video should be popping up at 12 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Uh, what is that? July the 14th. Um, if you see, I'm going to show a haul of jewelry. Jewelry, I picked up a few pieces online and the rest I picked up in two local thrift stores today. I'm filming this Thursday evening. Um, if you see anything you want, email me, Vintage Jewelry Galore at yahoo.com and anybody is welcome to contact me to purchase new subscribers just popping on just send me an email i'll tell you what i need i'll give you a price if you want it it's yours i do do paypal invoicing it's secure for you and me as well anyways <coughs> i have a number of items here now i will be keeping a few of the things for my sale on saturday and i'll let you know which ones okay so let me get started i was real excited about these two lapis necklaces one is um, oh my god, I can't even remember. Guadalupe. <laughs> okay, excuse me, I'm not going to remember it. Um, it's beautiful. Look at her. For some reason, it popped on my brain. But this one I'm keeping. She is, um, beautiful. Isn't she? Look at her. There's pressed flowers under as well. It's a sterling pendant. And it's strung on th small lapis beads. Sterling findings on the end. Um, this one I'm keeping for myself. I think it's beautiful. This one's, that one's really amazing hanging up there. It's a big, beautiful it's a lapis. Um, our, our, um, our Lady Guadalupe. That's what it is. Beautiful Mother Mary. She's a little darker. She's beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's, she's Spanish. Mexican, I guess. I think that's where it was at. Um, I did read the story briefly. Um, after, you know, uh, Sylvia informed me, you know, because I was mother of God. It is the mother of God, but this took place in a different um, area, you know, a different um, location, like her sighting. And she's absolutely beautiful on there, isn't she? Look at her pressed flowers under. I love it. Lapis sterling. I'm wearing it for a while. I have a few people interested when I'm ready to sell. I'll let you know. <clears throat> marvelous, marvelous, I think. Um, anyways. This is lapis sterling, look at the clasp, has beads, lapis lazuli, and a beautiful um, opal, mosaic opal ball bead there. This is magnificent. It's like a 22 inch necklace, I think. This one I'm holding for Saturday <clears throat> because I, I want to bring it and offer it to everybody. Yeah, it's 22 inches around the neck. With the beads, it's probably fitting more like a 20, you know. They're graduated. The lapis graduated in size until you get to the bottom. I like the way they did that. The biggest, look how beautiful that is, that lapis. Um, The biggest bead is the beautiful mosaic opal. It's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Magnificent. I'll bring that on, uh, on Saturday. It has a little weight to it, but it's doable. These are magnificent as well. No, these are really beautiful. Guess, anybody want to take a guess? No. These are Laguna, which they're big for that. They're signed Laguna. Silver tone clips with beautiful faux pearls. And look at the glass beads are magnificent. You have five strands on each one. Beautiful, beautiful Laguna. Laguna L-A-G-U-N-A. I think I spelled it already. I spelled it again. These are two and a half inches. The clip's good. You have some movements or long strand cha-cha earrings. Beautiful, beautiful earrings by the Vintage Laguna earrings. <clears throat> this is celluloid. I did test it to make sure, I don't know, it wasn't big. Like it was the color for the white, kind of, not really. I have a pair of uh, Kenneth Lane, seven nineteen seventies 1970s. Uh, <clears throat> Bakelite earrings. I'll show those in a minute. But this is celluloid. This is a little over two and a half inches. I've measured it already because I had done a video and I had to restart because I forgot to mention I'd pre-sell. Anyways, it has flowers like carved onto it. See? I don't know if this is a mold or a carve. I don't see any lines. It's probably a, a mold. Or, or I don't know though. It's celluloid. It's pretty cool. All right, and I have this big, I'm going to have to test it for Bakelite. It, it's just really heavy and has to sound, it just looks like it. It has a lot of weight to it, okay? It's a big, look at the carved. It looks carved. There are no lines on it. It does not have any lines from mold. Um, I don't know how it was made, though, because I, I have no idea. I don't see anything marked on it. I was looking for a signature. I saw one similar to it that had a, a 
the signature on it. Um, I'll look again, I'll test it again because it's really heavy, it's magnificent. It is some kind of plastic, like an acrylic, heavy. I think it's cool. <clears throat> okay, um, I have this little Miller Fury. Actually, these are an inch each, a stretch bracelet. The stretch is great, look at the different colors. Yeah, I think it's magnificent. Miller Fury, it's a nice big stretch. I never pass it up when I see it. I like the fused glass as well. All right, that's not for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have two, I'm just showing the bracelets early in here, okay? Two nice sized uh, vintage cloisonne bangles. There's a blue one and there's a white. And I think they're about the same size. I'll just give you an idea of the size inside. They're this big clunker, which I have to test it again because I just feel, feel like it. It's like, this is big, two and three quarters. Look. There's a lot of room there. You can wear it still, though. I mean, I don't have the tiniest hand. I'm not a, a thin person, not bony. I didn't mean it like that. I'm not thin. I'm a little weight on me. I'm a, a smaller woman. It might be too big. I don't know. These are measuring a little over two and a half inches. They're pretty. Vintage uh, cloisonne bangles. And this way, it's uh, like a half of an inch, I think, or a little bit bigger. They're not the hugest. I remember I found that humongous choker. I'd never seen one before. It was amazing. So it's shy of, it's bigger than a quarter inch, but a little, like a line shy of a half of an inch. They're decent sized here. They look nice together, I think. They're not quite half inch on the, uh, on that, but yeah, the thickness of it. <clears throat> They're nice though. Let's move her. I don't want anything to happen to her. She's fantastic. Okay. Um, now I'll start on some other earrings. I have Sorelli. Beautiful. There's opalate on here. And these are signed Sorelli back here. S-O-R-R-E-L-L-I. Most people know who Sorelli is, right? I think. S-O-R-R-E-L-L-I. Yes. Um, okay. They are hoop earrings. Like lock there. Look how beautiful. That's like an opalite, the smaller ones, I think. Let me get it close up and I'll show them again. Yeah, there's opalite there. There's opalite, like rhinestones. Or opaline, I don't know, is that the same thing? Anyway, so you have different colors of beautiful glass pieces, rhinestones. And they're about an inch and a half, at least maybe two inches on the... I'll save the Sorelli to give me something... Well, different these will come Saturday these are an inch and a half drop like you know the length the size these are beautiful Sorelli um hoop earrings I'll bring those so far those in the big baller lapis for Saturday <clears throat> I've garnet magnificent strung on red silk it has a nice magnetic clasp but it's very secure which is actually a nice thing um because it's easy to get it off and on you know by yourself, you know, if you're a woman without a man. 17 inches on a... <laughs> well, men aren't always around to put necklaces on their wives anyway, so if you want to do it on your own, it is nice to have somebody help. I even will help me sometimes, and I'll help her if I need it. 18 inches, so I do have someone that can help me when she's there. 18 inches, beautiful, from end to end. That's lovely garnet. Look at the color of that garnet. Beautiful beads, beautiful, beautiful garnet. I didn't measure the beads. I can if somebody's interested in that. I really liked it. I wanted to keep it, but I am keeping that early Guadalupe. <clears throat> Let me show you the Kenneth Jaylene earrings, and I got to show you something in comparison. I showed the fantabulous. These are 1970 makers mark on it is when they started using it. I don't know if they're 70s or 80s, though, okay? The cats kind of look more like 80s, I think. And something I wanted to point out, um, here's the makers mark. Um, it's made, uh, well, it's just on the back of the clip on these ones, I think. These are Bakelite. Back here, you have the Kenneth and the Lane with a small copyright. Now, if it's a larger copyright, and you can, it's clearly, it's, you can clearly see the difference. Then they start at 1960s. I made a mistake with the cats. That marker was 1970s. Let me enlarge it. The copyright would be much larger here. And on the cats as well, because they have the same, these are the same. The same time point, 1970s, they started using the Kenneth Lane with the smaller copyright. The larger one started in the 60s. 
So I'm not again, um, six seventies or eighties. You know what's unique about these? Okay. These are have a old Kaufman's tag on them. Kaufman's Pittsburgh. Look at the old tag. I don't know exactly. I mean, these have been, these are Bakelite. I tested them. I either rub my hand on it. That's an immediate way of knowing. I didn't do that in a the store there in a the bag. So I came home, put some hot water on and ran the plastic under hot water and I could smell the formaldehyde. That's a good way. Um, like I said, I'm checking the black one again. But anyways, these are Kenneth Lane 60s or, I mean, 70s or 80s, not really sure. Have a Kaufman tag hanging on them, an old one. <clears throat> and this is old. They were $6, okay. And look how it's typed up. That is old. It's probably 70s or 80s marking, that's my guess. Kaufman's downtown Pittsburgh has been closed for a little while. I don't know exactly how long, but how long. But clips, and those are Bakelite rings on there. Kenneth Lane. Vintage Kenneth Lane, um, I'll keep those too because I go to research them, okay, for Saturday. These cats are being kept too. So I wanted to mention, a lot of people are calling these Bakelite. I have to test them again. It seems a little late. I don't know, light for Bakelite? A lot of people have them listed as that being Bakelite. So I got to retest it. They're definitely Saturday. I showed those the other day. Okay, it's enough of that. <coughs> Sorry. Malachite. Um, some kind of, I don't know what the pink is. It's some kind of stone. These are nice. So I have to test the metal on them. And I have to, I have to test them out. Okay, it feels right and looks right, but I'll test it again. You know, put on the gem tester and look at it closer. I can't tell that. I've seen a lot of it. Okay, so, and I have to test the metal, but those are pretty, I think. Malachite and some kind of red knight, maybe. Some kind of pink stone. These are Sabika. If I, I'll offer these, if I don't sell for what I like, I, I will put them online because I know I can get that from on there. On uh, Mercari, I sold a lot of uh, Sabika. They're pretty. Um, look how beautiful. These are signed. They look like vintage Sabika. They're signed Sabika back there. These were made in home. Um, and I don't remember the exact dates. I know they were making them in like the 1990s. But look, crystals and rhinestones. I think that's a rhinestone. I don't know. Look, it's like a revol weights reverse. Look how beautiful it shines. The I know they use Swarovski. <clears throat> it's a Sabika brand, S A B I K A, and they're lever back pierced earrings. And yeah, they're marvelous. Come off the bag, and they are marked. <clears throat> I think this is rhodonite. As well, let me show it. I looked, um, I don't know if the findings are sterling. I'll look, I'll look at them closer a bit. I think it is. That or some kind of jasper or something. Look at it. This is movement and they're graduating in size, the larger one in the center. I thought it was really pretty. It's definitely stone. I had it on the jump tester. It goes well up. It's well strung, well made. Has beads on the end, hold it secure. And they're very movable. Um, and I think it is ro rhodonite, I think it's how you pronounce it, or rhodonite. <laughs> okay, excuse me, I'm not really sure. Okay, it's stone, I'll figure it out before I sell it, or somebody may, hey, whatever they want them. These are a little pair of dainty, bright, nice little bright and earrings with the B signed in the back. They're Paris, they're about an inch, they have movement. These are like little levers, not levers, like little knockers, kind of, but pretty little I don't have little rhinestones, Brighton. The noise out there sounds like somebody. Huh. All right, let me show the rings. <coughs> I found an antique citrine colored rhinestone. I think it's cushion cut. Look how it's set. It has a signing of sterling and something. Let me sh look. It's so hard to see. Like letters inside of two arrows, two triangles that are sideways. Let me try to show it. Somebody might know this and want to tell me or something, or if you just want to know yourself what it says. You don't have to tell me. I'll figure it out. Okay. Can't really show that. Well, don't mind the nails. I stopped having them done. God, they're a mess. It's like after it seems like condition and the nails are really bad after the I was having them dipped with powder and um 
I got I got tired of doing I couldn't really I don't know I just didn't want to spend the money anymore I'm not gonna lie it's beautiful it is a um <clears throat> I think it's it's glass it needs clean actually it's just glass but it's like I don't know it's rhinestone it looks like like it wore off a little bit but there's the back of it it's an antique ring I have to look up the maker's mark I I've, I've seen it before it's beautiful and it is sterling it's marked as such um this is a it's almost a six it's like a five and three quarter it's a beautiful little ring and I could get it on but it's very tight I hate tight rings um it's too big for the pinky it's beautiful though little ring this is um, this is Lloyd Amasoli, Zuni, New Mexico. It's signed on the inside. Let me open it up. This is a 20 uh, point petite point turquoise. Beautiful colors, blue and green. Very, um, here, let me show you the back first. His signature. Lloyd Amasoli is in there. Zuni, New Mexico. And it's 20 point Look how pretty. Look at that. Is that all turquoise or is that malachite? I can see it better. Up. I think it's all turquoise. It's just some green and some blue. It's beautiful. Um, I looked it up. I, I looked his name up. I think his date of birth is 1950. So this man's in his 70s now. Lloyd Amasoli. Signed Zuni, New Mexico. Beautiful little 20 point um, turquoise ring. I mean, Zuni. That is petite point, right? When you say it's nice. I like the way his signature scratched in it. It's an older ring. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else? This is, okay. I thought this was George Jensen when I saw it, okay. It's his son. J-O-R-G-E-N Jensen. Jorgen, I think it's how you pronounce that. Okay. And this is Pewter. He did work in Pewter. He worked by, on his own. I can't remember exactly where, where. And then he went back and worked at his dad's company when his father died. Uh, this one is made in Pewter. And there's his name, Jorgen Jensen, Denmark Pewter. Um, and it had, it's numbered down here. I, maybe that means Pewter. I don't know. Or it's just numbered. And I think it's nice. I like it. Um probably keep this one for a while I don't think it's um I, I have to look at uh the pricing and everything I think I've seen a few of them but I, I didn't spend much time this one is at a five and a half but it's sizable that is not amber I'd seen it listed as amber this is glass it's definitely glass it's nice it's a nice ring it's like it has it's sizable that's why I have it on it's fitting me more like a six finger swelling is not up today <clears throat> i think it's really nice i really like it i'll hold on to that for a while because <clears throat> i like it i was hoping i seriously thought it was his father you know george jensen i was i almost said george jetson i was super excited but i'm still excited it's a beautiful ring i found it out in the wild in a local thrift store along with the little zuni and the antique i mean i think that's pretty um good it wasn't any they were in in the uh counter though not on the wall anyways this um is pretty this looks west germany but i don't see its signature you see what i mean but it looked like it was like vermeil had some not vermeil had like some gold splashed on her else that's just fading I, I mean like i don't know what that is but she's pretty <coughs> excuse me i need a drink i think cameo necklace i mean ring good guys the anatard or something yeah pretty this is small, but it does, you can't change the size right now. It's at like a four. But it can be changed to probably up to a six, I would think. It's a pretty ring. It's costume. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's pretty. I thought it was West Germany. And this hair is, um, let me get a cough drop so I can show a cough over again. Oh, it's done. I, I think that's glass. I have to look at it though because I, I'm pretty sure it's a cubic circle. I mean, like a pink ice thing going on there. It's sterling. <laughs> it's a bigger ring. It is an eight, down to an eight and three quarter. 
and then has marcasites in it. It's pretty. That's why they're big. That's about an inch. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at it in the sunlight. Make sure it's not one of the ones that changed color because it has a um. I'm put the black light on it. It looks it changes. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Good God, I'm really sorry about that. It's about three quarters of an inch across, like the lot, like this way. <laughs> <clears throat> these are cool. I don't know. I, I don't know who the maker is. Um, they remind me of Whiting and Davis, but you know they look like that type of thing. But I don't. They're not marked. They're cool. They're about three inch drop. Simple little marcasite and a blue topaz on the bottom. These are tiny little earrings. See them? Sterling marcasites, and down there is the blue topaz. All right, that's not a real good presentation. That's good enough, though, I think. <clears throat> wow, look, she's pretty. I think she looks like a 20s flapper girl, 1980. Ah, uh, this is a pin. I think she, uh, she's really nice. Look at that. Pretty. I like her hat. Um, found two more stone necklaces that are more... There's more. There's a lot more. Good God. Not that much more. <laughs> <clears throat> not that I'm upset. Two rose quartzes. Now, I had two gold stones. I sold one of them. This is a rose quartz with the same little peacock. Rose quartz. A big piece. And then the beads strung on silk. Cute. Does have a clasp. Both of them do. I think this was... This one. Big lobster claw. This one's longer, of course. <clears throat> and it has a big chunk of rose quartz on it and strung on silk. These beads are smaller on the longer necklace with the big pendant, rose quartz pendant. The one with the uh, little peacock pendant are bigger, larger. They're both strung on pink silk. <clears throat> I'll measure them if somebody contacts me. I think they're nice though, rose quartz and rose quartz. <laughs> <clears throat> This is, um, I hate that. That's been a lot of people are stuck with the cough. It seems like citrine and pearls. I have it as big as it can get be because I fit it on there. It's trying on some kind of thread. I don't think it's silk, but it's, oh, I thought I saw a cat. Um, it has fresh water culture pearls. Baruch, because, you know, they're not completely round. They're a nice shape, though. I don't think that's sterling. It's some pretty little flowers on it. I'll measure them. I mean, I will test them. This is pretty, though. Citrine and uh, freshwater culture pearls. Citrine chips, nice size. So it's beautiful, I think. It has an extender on it. Let me tell you how long it is. Um, from end to end, we have the extender. The smallest is 18. They could go down to 20 inches with the citrine and pearls. And I don't think these are sterling, but I'll test them. Little flowers are on there every so often. I think it gives it a pretty touch. Beautiful. Um, I think it's beautiful. I found another one of those stone necklaces with every... It even has Laramore on it, actually. I think the other one did, too. I sold the other one. It was about this chunky <clears throat> already. It's I think it's a sterling clasp on there. These ones are marked. Pretty, yeah. Um, and you have a little bit of everything. You have some crystal. Um, look, that's Laramore. Let me hang it up. There's fresh water culture pearls. There is rose quartz. There's some Laramore. There's some garnet. There's peridot. There's citrine. Amethyst. Probably black and probably onyx right there in these beads. Magnificent. There's a little sterling clasp in back. A little bit of everything, including some beautiful crystal. Triple strand. Can be worn separate like this, you know? Or you could twist them. It looks nice twisted. Um... I should keep one. I had one I bought from another YouTuber here that I loved. But I sold it because I needed money. <laughs> I really loved it. She had put a, lot, a variety of different stones on it and strung it. It was beautiful. I really liked it. I might keep one. I still have this one and another one. I found three of them. Um, apparently somebody was making jewelry. It's magnificent, really. It's a nice, beautiful variety. Or selling jewelry. 
Mm. Does it look nice? I'm sorry, I'm chewing my cough up. I always do that. It looks really nice. Uh, twisted. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, nice combination of beautiful gemstones. Okay. Mm. I bought one of these. It's been a while. <laughs> like it's an addiction or something. Vintage. AB. Um, beautiful necklace. Double strand. This one's not as free fluid as some of the ones I get, but it's still quite beautiful. With a J-hook clasp. An extender. I'll tell you how long it is. It's not overly stiff, but it's not as flexible as some of them have had. That's what I'm saying. 14 to 16 inches. This is beautiful short. This is meant to be worn as a choker, probably. You know, up against your throat. Because it's light enough, and it would be good for it for that. It's beautiful. La, da, da, da. Didn't I just find a pair of Laguna earrings? I may have sold them. They'd be good, good, good with it. I mean, the clips that look like that. Beautiful graduated in size. Separated, they're by round, separated by bicones in between. Beautiful little necklace. Now this, um, this is magnificent. <laughs> Molded, I believe it's glass. I have to test it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain that's, it feels cold. I don't know. It's molded and fantastic. And crystals. Crystals and purple. Clear. Beautiful. It's strung on, has sterling findings. It's Mark 925, and I think it is sterling. I didn't test it. It looks like it. All right, it has a little crystal hanging at the end. It's a beautiful little necklace. Um, oh, I did say this I'll keep. Okay, this is going to be kept for the sale. I still have a couple more things to show. This big thing, um, this, because I, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I may keep it for myself. It matches another one that can wear it on the pinky. So, um, in the Sorelli, and I have to look at these and price them and so forth. I don't, you know, I don't, didn't even look them up yet. All right, so those things, um, and this I'm keeping for myself for a while. George Jensen's son's ring. Pardon me. <coughs> that's it, everything else, that's mine. Everything else is for pre so. And this as well. Let me give you a measurement. I'm not done yet, I have a couple more things. I was just wanted to pull those out. If anybody's interested in any of that stuff, contact me. Um, this is measuring this is beautiful. This is 16 to 18 inches. Magnificent. I think. I thought it was beautiful. Um, that goes over there. Uh, these are... Oh, I have to find backings. These are Judith Jack. Adorable. Look at that. If you wear, like, more than one pair of earrings, like, these are perfect. Like, the, these are little tiny hoops. Or Judith Jack Sterling and Marcus, like, they don't have a backing. They're adorable. Little Judith Jack earrings, um, sterling and marcasite. This is a Sarah Coventry. This is a very vintage Sarah Coventry. It, it has the same hang. I had a collector. Remember this one I showed? It hasn't sold yet. Came from the same store. I'm not surprised about it. I don't know where it is. Um, I have it somewhere. It's a beautiful Empress uh, faux pearl one. But it has that. I think it looks like a mirror of the S S C and then a Sarah Coventry. And this is a mag magnificent mid-century uh, mid looking. I, I don't remember how long she's been making jewelry. I'm afraid to say it, but that looks mid-century to me. <laughs> it has a J-hook. Sarah Coventry marked on the little mirror. And um, it's amazing, I think. Look at it. Her jewelry, she had some nice jewelry, I believe. <clears throat> That's Sarah Coventry vintage. Um... Monet, more modern Monet, but it's in the box. And pretty. Look at those clear rhinestones. It's beautiful. It's like two and a half inches. It's a more modern. I think it says uh, 2000 sometime. I don't know if it's marked Monet in the back. It's something I'm interested in seeing. I'll see that later. And if somebody asks me, you can ask look at it. You can ask me to look. It's two inches. And it's beautiful. I think it's lovely. It's a Monet. Um, and these are gold pleated. I was hoping they were royal because it kind of looked like it. Hoops, gold pleated. They have that lockdown piece. Yeah, like where they lock. And they're nice, nice earrings. Eva might like those if I don't sell them there. They don't want to fetch much. And eh, if it ain't in her ears. 
And the backing on these say Roman for the Roman brand. Uh, they're gold plated and crystals usually. I didn't notice the mark on the earring, but the backing says that, and they look like they would be his. These are stars. It's R-O-M-A-N, or the brand. I don't know if a man makes the jewelry. Okay, it's a, um, they were making jewelry. It's It could be vintage or modern. Not really sure what these are, but um, they are crystal and gold plated, and they're, they're cute. I have to look and see if the signature of R-O-M-A-N is on them. They're little stars about an inch. All right, so that is it. That's what I found today and what I got in the mail. So everything over there can go for pre sale if anybody wants anything. If not, I will be on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time now instead of 12. I decided to come on a little bit later to see if I can't <coughs> accommodate some of the people who aren't able to come. Okay, because um, that's early for, uh, you know, I'm in the East, um, I'm Eastern time. So when I come on at 12, it's nine o'clock somewhere for somebody, you know, or, you know, for some people who come to my sales or buy off of me privately. So anyways, I will come on at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna see how that goes. And I think I'm gonna have a helper. I think my Eva's gonna help me. Uh, she's gonna bag things for me and um, help me out that way. And which will be great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you're interested in anything to, for purchase, please contact me. Have a lovely day today. Thank you. Bye.